Hello everybody, my name is Adam Gordon, an entertainer here at IT Pro TV, back with another cool, exciting, and fun-filled episode in our How to Use Zoom serial. We're gonna be focusing on pinning versus spotlighting, two really cool different ideas that we can use to focus attention on people as they're speaking or acting in a meeting. Hopefully they're prepared for that and they're not gonna get up to no good, but we'll take a look and show you how this works. Let's join a meeting in progress. We'll say hi to some of our IT Pro TV team members who invited, were invited to help us out for this episode. We've hi to Courtney, to Gigi and to Carola. They're gonna help us see the difference between pinning and spotlighting. At a high level, the idea is we wanna focus attention like we are right now on Gigi in the center box with speaker view on whoever is speaking. But we wanna either, either as an individual be able to say, I want just Gigi to stay on my screen regardless of who's speaking because I wanna pay attention to her pinning individual selection, in other words, or spotlighting, I want everybody in the meeting, regardless of what they want to see, to pay attention to one individual, and spotlighting allows me to specify that and say that that individual shows up on everyone's screen. So what we do is we grab one particular person. Let's highlight Courtney, for instance, up here. And what I can do is right-click on that person, and when I do that, let me just right click so we could see that menu. You'll see I get a pin or a spotlight option. It disappears. We have about five seconds with it while it's up. And I'm gonna pin Courtney to my screen and put her there as my active participant that I wanna pay attention to. But I haven't changed the view for either Gigi or Corolla. They're seeing whoever is currently the active speaker or potentially, depending on how they've chosen to set their view up, they may have pinned somebody else. So there's different options. They're most likely seeing a picture of me right now as the active speaker on their screen. But I've modified my view, so I'm watching Courtney. Now what we're gonna do is go up and change out Courtney, and I'm gonna spotlight, and I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what? I wanna spotlight Gigi so that everybody is gonna see Gigi in the meeting regardless of who the active speaker is, regardless of what's going on. And then we're gonna check on Corolla's machine and see whether that spotlighting is actually taking place. So let me go highlight Gigi, we'll right click on her, and we'll choose Spotlight for Everyone. And remember, the key is we're gonna spotlight Gigi, put her in the center. Oh, that's right, I forgot, one second. I need to remove the pin. And you'll see that I can remove the pin either by clicking at the upper left-hand corner of the video screen where Courtney is, or as you saw, Zoom smart enough to prompt me and say, hey, you know what? You didn't unpin Courtney. You gotta do that before we continue. So I have an option. So we'll remove the pin, and then we'll go ahead and we'll spotlight Gigi. So let's spotlight her for everyone. I have a remove spotlight option when I'm done. Let's go over to Corolla's machine, and let's see whether Gigi is now spotlighted. And so what we're gonna see, you see the change in view, and you'll see up there that I'm actually there as just a profile picture in the meeting. We could see Corolla's there shaking her head, we're looking at her machine. Courtney and Gigi are still there, and Gigi is spotlighted for everybody in the meeting. So she's on Corolla's machine, she was on my machine as you just saw, she's also on Courtney's machine. Now, when we go back to my view, you can see Gigi is still there. I can remove the spotlight from Gigi, so just go ahead and change that out. And then if I wanna change that view, because Gigi still stays on the screen, but she's there because she was the last active participant or object that I chose to work with. All I have to do is wait for somebody as an active speaker to go ahead and speak, and Gigi will rotate out of that view. So if Corolla unmutes her mic and says hello or says anything, we'll wait for her to say hello. She takes just a second, hey Corolla, and we can say hi to Corolla, and we see that she swaps out for Gigi, and now the active speaker view brings Corolla, or whoever is gonna be that active speaker back in. We begin to see that rotating shuffle of all those different screens. Remember, pinning allows me to prevent that from happening by focusing only on one speaker, and spotlighting allows me to force one speaker to stay on not just my machine, but everybody's view across the entire meeting. Until I come back with another exciting episode with more must know, must have, and must use cool features in Zoom, I'm gonna wish you happy Zooming, and I'll see you soon.